What is up, man? NFL 25 gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to be talking all about packaging concepts in Man 25. It's our concept of the week, and it's something that uh, really has kind of dawned on me as of late and how we uh, build ourselves for success for every play. So, for example, here we're going to be working, and we talked about last week, guys. If you weren't here, check out. I'll leave a video and leave the link in the description below. If you weren't here last week, check out the concept of the week last week. We talked about the constraint theory and why uh, we call different plays uh, based off different things that the defense does. And so I want to talk, uh, kind of add on to that with this kind of uh, completion of that series with today, the packaging concept. So uh, we're just going to use uh, any play from a spread, but we really like a play that has corner routes and a play that has an angle route. Okay. So those two plays, those two routes are very effective, and we like to have those at our disposal. So anyway, for today's video, again, I want to talk about packaging concepts. The idea of if if the defense is, for example, say in a cover two man sink or cover two zone, to the left side, we want to set up a route combination that's going to beat that. But if they're in a cover three or cover one or cover four, to the right side of the formation, we want to set up something that beats that. So do you see what I'm saying? We're kind of wanting to package a play, package multiple concepts into a play. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, and uh, let's hop in it. So something that I would do, for example, is use the cover two beater levels. And so I'm going to put a levels concept to the left side of the field. So you see here I'm going to put Decker on a smart routed in route. I'm going to put Welker on a in, just a regular in route. And then I'm going to take Moreno. I'm going to put him on a little flat pattern to the right. And I'm going to put Caldwell on a streak. Now, this is a basic read here. Uh, we have levels to the left side. Oh, and I'm going to smart route Thomas's little hitch route. And basically what I've created to the left is a levels read. I've created a, a vertical stretch in terms of Caldwell, Welker, and Decker. All those guys are a vertical stretching the defense. Thomas and Marino to the right are going to cover a cover three or cover one read. And so, in theory, whatever coverage they call, I now have a read. I, already, I have a player that should be open. So, for example, say they call say they call a cover three and they drop purple zones on the outside or curl flat zones. So, in theory, the route to Thomas should not be open. Okay, so as you see here, it's not open. But what is open, not the streak... So I got a little antsy, uh, but not the streak, but the little flat route to Marino should be open here. So, for example, and of course I snapped the ball on accident, and this play is all left. Okay, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but anyway, here we're going to hop back in, cover three, drop the purple zones, and we see what should happen is I think Marino should be wide open. So as you see, the purple zone goes backwards, so I know I'm going to hit Marino on the flat for an easy 5 or 10 yards. So in theory, we do that with everything. So another thing you could do that, another way you could run a curl flat concept is to have a zig. Well, a zig's a little bit more effective than a flat route. So now, when they play that cover 3, and they drop those uh, buzz zones or purple zones or curl flat zones on the outside, you see now that the zig route is going to be open and have potential to gain a lot of yards. So it's just stuff like that, and um, also the uh, Danny Gonzalez in this article that I was reading goes this little step further, and he's talking about what kind of concepts to package with what kind of concepts. For example, you don't want to package a smash concept to the right. So this is what it would look like. So we would we would package our cover two beating smash concept to the right, so that the right side has our smash, and then we're going to complement that with a cover three beating curl flat to the left okay so we do that so you see that but watch what happens there's nobody to threaten the middle of the field do you see how nobody let's take a look at this in this replay but watch this and it's another point we're going to get back to in just a moment but watch there's nobody threatening the middle of the field of this play look there's no one in here there's no one threatening this part of the defense it's all on the outside so part of that is harder on the quarterback to make that read so for example if I'm reading, so I read cover two, so I should look, in theory, to the right side. But what if they play like a roll coverage or something to take that away, but it's like a cover two blitz and they leave the middle completely open? Well, number one, there's nobody in the middle. And number two, there's no hot read to the middle because I've now routed everything to the outside. In the same breath, you're not going to call a 
a deep post uh, and a levels. You're not going to call both of those plays in combination because it, it it's going to jumble up the route. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna it, it's not a good look. So for example, but you might cut you might put a um, excuse me, but you might put a smash corners. So for example, you might put a smash route in combination with um, like a curl, a double curl concept. So now you see how the routes are now working off each other. And I think that's a huge uh, point because when we're developing our routes at Madden, we want to know like how do we develop, what do we want to work on. Well, first thing first, you want to work on constraint theory, having routes that work off diff off each other. For example, uh, easy example is an out route, an in route, and a curl route. All those routes work off each other very well. Um, but I think that next step is Okay, so now how do we how do we package that into our offense? How do we how do we have set plays that still use the constraint theory, but also uh, pa are packaged well and work and work well? Okay, so for example, you want to make an out route. Well, you're gonna make an out route, and maybe we'll make a curl route because in theory, that little hitch route to Caldwell is gonna do a really good job at holding down that defender in the cover three. You see, just like a flat route would. So then, why would you ever use a flat route? Well. Keep, keep listening here. So we're using a flat route because now we're going to put Thomas on the in route. You see it's going to save, serve the same purpose, but they're going to attack different levels of the field. And so I think that's a huge point because, it, it again, it kind of takes us the next step in developing an offense. So, for example, say that their defense is in a cover three, and what I'm going to do is instead of putting Caldwell on a hitch because – Caldwell and Thomas are basically going to run in the same area. I'm going to put him on a flat route. You see that he's going to still serve the same purpose, but now I have a lot more room to fit that ball into Thomas. I think that's a huge point as we as we progress forward. Um, but anywho, and, and so again, a lot of different things you can do. For example, you can make a Texas concept out of this uh, right side. Now, what I like to do with a Texas concept is also package in a two verticals to that side. So I'm going to put Thomas on the vertical. Now this concept should be to cover two defenses so to the left side now i'm gonna make that hitch out concept and now you see i'm set up to beat cover two to the outside here and i'm also set up to beat um i'm also set up to beat cover three to the left side so do you, hopefully you guys are seeing how that works, but I just wanted to touch on that, and I want to. We're going to talk more about that as the summer progresses, uh, because I think it's a huge point. Uh, but anyways, guys, just let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, what do you? What kind of? What are you doing in your offense that is similar to what I've talked about today? And uh, just want to kind of get your feedback on what you think of this series in general. Uh, thanks for your time today. I hope this video was somewhat beneficial to you. If it was, uh, I ask that you leave a like rating below. If it wasn't, I ask that you tell me what I could do to improve it. Uh, thanks for your time today, guys. Hope Once again, I really, really hope you guys got some of the points discussed in today's concept of the week. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Be sure to catch us tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. for more Madden 25 content. Thanks a lot, guys.